I'm Zach Senawong, and on today's build, we are gonna build a hammock stand. I wanna get it done in just one day. So, I'm gonna talk to the camera less than I normally do. It's a total lie. Anyways, let's look at the plans. So, earlier this week, I drew up a plan. See? Not really much of a plan, but the dog chewed it up this morning anyway, so, eh. This guy right here, this guy ate the plans. Anyways, I'm just gonna build it as we go. At the end, I will put a PDF with all the plans down in the description below. Let's build this thing. First, I'm gonna make the cuts to the three four by four by eight foot boards, cutting two of them to five foot six inches, making 22.5 degree cuts, leaving one of them eight foot long, but cutting the ends at 22.5 degrees. Okay, to make this super simple, what I'm gonna do is use the stops that are already on the table saw. The table saw has, you know, every five degrees, but it also has 22.5, 31.6, and 45, which are prominent stops. I'm gonna go ahead and try the 22.5, and see if I can make that work. Now nah, you're doing it. Oh, we got a plug in the saw. Ooh. Let's do it to one more board. Two boards. Cut at 22.5. I'm at just about 11 feet where I need to be. So I moved this board over just a bit so that I could get a square line off of here. I'm gonna double check that my angles line up good, which they do. And then I'm gonna grab my tape measure there. That's where I'm gonna make my cut. Okay, five feet six inches is what it's gonna be. Hopefully I didn't mess it up, but that looks pretty good. Let's cut it. There's one, now I'll cut the second one the easy way. Line the first board up on top of the second board. Mark where it is. Now I'm going to cut our two eight foot two by six boards in half. I'm going to cut mine at 50 and 40 degrees, but 45 degrees would work for all the cuts. This is flush. Come back over here, making sure this corner is just at the edge there. Then with a pencil, draw a line on the back side back here. That is my second cut right there. Mark my line. I'm gonna cut this one just like I did that one and then do it to the other board so I end up with four of these. Got one more piece of four by four wood here. This one's actually 10 feet long. I'm gonna cut it down to four feet six inches. You could probably just do four. I'm gonna do four feet six. These are gonna be the feet. These are pressure treated boards. There was a head lying around. This is just a detail that's gonna be on the bottom of the feet to make it look a little bit better. I cut these at 22.5 degrees on each end. Going to use my Bosch Orbital Sander here. Going to start with like a 50 grit, work my way up to like a 120, and then probably end up at around 220. That should be good for my surface. Going to throw on my noise canceling headphones that my wife got me because I'm an excellent house husband and listen to a podcast while I sand. Two hours later, all the parts over there are sanded. This joint here needs to be as strong as it can be, but without the supporting brackets to the other wood, it's still not gonna be strong enough, but we're gonna make it really strong. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take two of these quarter inch by six inch long lag bolts, and we are going to screw them from the center from the bottom up, and they will end up inside there like that. Then on the opposite side over here from the center this way, there's gonna be one of them going like that. Hopefully that works. Took the two sideboards, clamped them in place. Now I'm gonna drill them and we're gonna lag them together. We're getting close. I have this huge drill bit here to go through the whole thing, but I'm gonna start it first with the smaller one just because it'll be easier to get it lined up. Bolt. Wash off. Get that all by. 
Looks like I uh, didn't give myself a lot of extra room here. I could countersink these, but I'm not going to. I think when I tighten them up, this will go flush. That'll be where we want to be. And there we go. Just about flush. And that's good. So now you see the process. We're just going to repeat it a couple more times. Okay, so as you can see, there's two bolts up here at the top. I'm gonna to put two more down there at the bottom and then repeat it on the other side. So now I'm gonna put the bolts on the top. So I'm not going all the way through on the back side. I just went to where I could just barely see the tip come through. There's a reason for that. The bolts at the store are not long enough to go all the way through the board. So I need to recess them on the back side. Switch to the Forstner bit. Okay, put that washer on the back. Make sure this is straight up and down, not sideways, otherwise it'll just rotate. Just good and snug. Yay! Good morning. It's the next day. So I've taken my speed square here and I made two marks on my legs that go underneath. So it'd be easier when I'm lining it up instead of having to run back and forth with the measuring tape once it's on there. So last night while I was sleeping, dreaming about fuzzy little animals, I thought to myself, I need to make those legs a little bit more stable. How to do that? I took the scrap wood that I had left over, the four by four pieces. I cut four of these. They're gonna go on the leg like this and make it more stable. I oh, just not feeling it today. I more trucker. These are eight inch long by half inch carriage bolts. They're gonna go up through the bottom and pop out right here. I need to start drilling a hole from the top down. Now the top of this carriage bolt has a little bit of curve to it. So I'm gonna recess it down into the wood just a little bit. It's sitting on grass. You probably don't need to do this step, but if it's on wood or a deck or anything like that, you definitely do. So we got a four inch lag and a five inch lag. Four inch lags go in the top, five inch lags go in the bottom. The reason to pre-drill the wood on the top here is to make sure these don't split because if they split, the joint's no good. Now, I went all the way through this piece, but only about a quarter inch into that one because I want this one to grab. With that, a house husband's job is complete. Just in time for Mother's Day. A week late. Why do I get hurt in every video? Oh. We've come to the end of another build video. Once again, I'm Zach Sedong. If you liked this video, go ahead and watch one of these other ones that Google is suggesting to you. And if you ain't making mistakes, you're not making things. Go out there and build something. We are done, done with the beer. Awesome. Oh, you're probably thinking, that you talk really, really fast. And I guess after I eat a whole bunch of chocolate in the morning before the build and then drink a whole bunch of coffee, I guess I do talk really, really fast.